strangers. <laughs> uh, we're at a new permission that we've, my dad's been to before, but um, my first target, you guys, is a Indian. Look at this. It's come up as a 12.39. Can you get there, son? Oh, it's in nice shape. Look at that. This is going to be a good date. Can't quite I'm trying to keep it in the sun for you. It's in really good condition. Look at that. Yeah, it is. Nice and green. Wow. It came out clean. Well, first signal. Yeah. Way to go. Yeah, I'm Indian. Here, I'll get a close-up of the date. Oh, wait, wait, wait. It might be 1908. If it's in 08, it could have a mint mark. It is 1908. Or it could be an 06, but let's see if it's got a mint. 1908, 1909's um, had mints. Let's see. It cleans off. Um, can't really tell there. 1906. Okay. Yeah, 1906. All right, let's keep going. All right, Silver Fox has got a target. What is it? It's a nickel size. It's a V. A what? It's a V. Really? Okay, pick it up. Yep, pick it up. I think it's a V. Okay, go ahead and screw it one more time. Don't do it too much, though, because I'm going to wipe it. But I'm pretty sure I saw the neck. It had the signal of a nickel, 53. So yeah. With the G... AT oh wait, Pro. no, no. Is that a buffalo? Hold on a second. It's a buffalo. Buffalo, huh? Okay. Yeah. Nice. Yep, five cents. There's the buffalo. There's the Indian. You might not get a date on this one. It's pretty it's pretty toasty. But that's definitely that's definitely a buffalo nickel. Very cool. Alright. All right. That's my second target. <laughs> yeah, bam. Cool, let's keep going. All right, next target. You can see it there in the plug. It's five inches, showing 1117 on the uh, CTX. And it is a V, and check out how nice this one is. They rarely come out looking like this. I haven't wiped it yet. Uh, I think it's a 19, is it 14? I'm gonna give it a really easy wipe here. Wow, that's clean. 1910, 19 something. Let's see here. 1914, 1914 V nickel. Wow, that's in great shape too. Yeah, I'm gonna be really careful with this. I'm gonna let it dry and then I'll just like toothpick it a little bit. I wanna keep all that patina on a nickel. All right, let's keep going. All right, so I just got that 1914 V. My dad, he got the same. He got a signal right at the same time. Right next to it. Right next to the last one. Oh, that looks like an Indian, yeah. Yeah, it's an Indian. Wow. This is a great yard. Wait a second. No, it says one cent. Oh, like in a, like a weedy type? Yeah. All right, we'll get Let's a close see. up of the date here. Yeah, it's a wheat. One cent, but we are right in that range. It was right next to the buffalo. Of, uh, wow, it's got a bunch of crap all over it. It's gonna be an early one, it could be a... This side's better, so let me check to see if it's got a VDB. I'd be careful with this one, Dad. It could be an 09, you never know. I mean, we found them here. We found yeah. VDBs. I found 1909s with San Francisco Mints. Cool. All right. Good job, Roller Rangers. Rangers. We'll get a close up on the, on the wrap. All right, next target was like a 1244 on a CTX, and I got a a scent, a small scent, and it was ringing really high, so I think it's, yeah, it's a Canadian. Yeah. It's an older Canadian. Yeah, Queen Elizabeth, it is. So I get a date. 1956. All right, let's keep going. All right, all right, coming down the, the, the hill here to the sidewalk, and I got another Indian. Let's see what the date is on this one. See it? Let me set it down. Yeah, I think this one's a 1900. 
1900 pretty sure but yeah, it's just hard to clean it off it's soil here is it's either 1900 and 19 or maybe 18 I don't know it's hard to say I'll have to work on it a little bit more all right silver fox is going in the backyard kind of coming around the top of the yard from him here and I got another low tone check this out what is that oh I can see it's a v nickel Oh my gosh, it's another nice one. Just broke open, just like that. Oh my gosh. The coins in this yard, the nickels are just amazing. Wow, look at that. I'm telling you, man, Washington State, that is really good condition where we're at. Let's see if I can get the date. It is, I just don't want to rub it too much because you can really foul these things up. Let me be really careful, I'll come right back. I'm very carefully trying to brush it off. <laughs> see how, you see how the patina is already coming off on the neck right there? See that really crisp green line right there and it, and it turns red? That's what you, that's the first thing to go on these old nickels here is that patina will come off. And a lot of times they'll take off the date. So I gotta be really careful if I wanna just let it dry out and then maybe toothpick it. But it looks like it's gonna be a teens. I don't know, it's already flaking, so you gotta be really careful. See that? That on the backside is gorgeous. All right, we'll keep going. All right, Silver Fox, another old penny. Show the other side, Dad. Yeah, it's an Indian, I can see it. Nice. Show how green it is. See the headdress right yep, there? Yep, yep. Look at that. Very nice. Okay, let's uh let me wipe it and get it on up close. Okay, it's a it's a weedy, but it's an old another oldie. Can you see the head? Uh, it's old in our neck of the woods. Show the wheat uh, the one cent in the back. Yeah, see one cent. It's an old wheat. The old ones come out green just like the Indians. Silver Fox has something good in the hole. Oh yeah, that looks like a ring. Yep. Okay. Oh, it's got a stone. Cool. Yeah. Very nice. Let me wash it off here. Is that a CTR ring? A what? A CTR ring? Uh huh. Very cool. That's like a baby ring. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, that's a pink like an amethyst ring. Our pink stone in it. Yeah, for sure. That's definitely sterling. Let me uh I'll, yeah, I'll stop there, it. There, there's writing in here. Okay, I'll uh we'll see if we can get the his mark sterling. I told your mother I was gonna find a ring today. <laughs> that's I said a nice one. won't be the twenty thousand dollar one. <laughs> that's a nice ring though. Okay, there oh. you see it? Yeah. Sterling, I see it. Alright. Mark sterling, right there. down the yard right here look at these numbers here okay so 70 80 81 80 solid 80 on the AT Pro check it out on the CTX I, I don't have no discrimination on mine got it 13 45 13 46. What do you think it is? I think it's a Merc or a Barber Dime. Okay, let's see. It's gonna be small silver. I don't think it's gonna be, it's not gonna be a, like a half or anything. Or... How many inches are you showing it? Four inches deep. Okay, here we go. Live dig, you guys. Live dig on a really super good high tone. We usually don't do this because we don't want to curse this. But... Take another chunk, just take another. Uh, oh, wait, I just had it. I just had it. Yeah, it's right there. Take a good, another good uh, scoop out. Should be in the scoop layer. Oh, wow, go down to about four inches. It's going to be a long clip. Try to hit the plug.
we can find. Here, let me go with my coil. We're off a little bit. Right there, we're off about just a couple inches. Go here. Yeah, okay, you got that done. Just go. Pull it out, just scoop it out. Just get it in there and scoop it. You got it? Got it. Oh, it's a tax token. You gotta be kidding me. That's a tax token. All that for a tax token. I saw the yeah. hole in the middle. Yeah. Jeez, 1935 tax token. Jeez. What do you say? <sighs> Hit it. All right, going along the sidewalk strip, we just found an old, uh, looks like a transit token. Oh, this could be a, a Grays Harbor transit token. Let's take a look. City of something. Tacoma? Oh, that's a small one. Good for good for one fare. Finally, 1800 coin. 1890, 1896. Hmm. Or 86. Wow, it could be an 86. <laughs> Is that a 96 or an 86? Probably 96. Yeah, it's a 96. Sweet. All right, let's keep going. You're rolling. I'll get the close. I'll get the close up if you want to just get the. Yeah. Busy street, busy neighborhood. Um, so I got another another uh, small scent. It's right here. You can see the green. See it right there. Oh, I'm on the wrong side. Oh yeah. Okay. Let's see what I'm not. It's an Indian. There's the headdress right there. There's the date in the bottom. All right, that's your what, fourth Indian? Fourth Indian, yeah. Ooh, it's gonna have a good date. So the last one was 1896. Let me see what that one is. Uh, 1890. All right. Yeah. Yeah, 1890, clear as day. Sweet. All right, I like Rangers. Keep going, that's four Indians. 